Are you part of the students that are struggling to pass life sciences? If so, you're at the right place at the right time. In this video, I am going to be giving you tips on how to ace life sciences. You're going to pass it with flying colors. I am here for you. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into the video. Hello everyone, I am Hope, better known as Hope M. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If I keep on looking down, just know that I am looking at this because these are my tips. I did research. It's also based on my experience. And before I actually start this video, I want to give credit to my friend Craig because he understood life sciences better than me. We both understood life sciences, but I feel like he understood it better. So I did ask him for a few tips that he used to use and I combined it with mine. So shout out to Craig. <laughs> Tip number one is to read the objectives. When it comes to life sciences, there are guidelines in textbooks. They will tell you what is expected of you. They will tell you what you are supposed to know. So you're supposed to read those guidelines and know what is expected of you. Guidelines are normally found at the beginning of a textbook. If you browse in your book, you will find those guidelines. When you read the objectives, it helps you not to focus on useless things. It helps you focus on what you're meant to know and you won't be spending your time on things that won't come out. Tip number two, when taking notes, write first browse through your textbook before taking notes. Browse through and understand what is going on first. Do not just start by writing. Why are you copying the textbook? Why are you writing what is on the textbook if you can see what is written on the textbook without understanding? Like, why are you taking those things and writing them down while you don't even know what is going on? Firstly, take that book, okay? Read through. Oh, meiosis. Oh, DNA. Oh, RNA. Understand it first before you can take notes. Look for keywords. When it comes to life sciences, there are certain words that if you can leave out in a sentence, it makes that sentence completely wrong and you are not supposed to leave out that specific word which is why i am like what you should take note of those key words sometimes you tell yourself that why did she give me wrong what i wrote here was correct why did she do this my answer is correct i only left out this one word you didn't know that one word was important if you don't write that one word, everything that you wrote down there is wrong. So you're supposed to know the keywords so that you don't leave them out when you're busy writing your exams or your life sciences test. When taking notes, you're supposed to pay attention to the diagrams, flowcharts, and drawings that are there. Tip number three. You are supposed to take note of processes understand what is meant by that process know how that process begins and know how that process ends as a person that is doing life sciences way now and as a person who has done life sciences let me tell you you are supposed to know that each and every topic has a process when it comes to life sciences each and every topic that you're going to come across will have a process. So while taking notes or making notes, note down that there are processes and you're supposed to know what that process is. Without understanding what the process is talking about or what is going on, you won't be able to answer certain question because when you look at the question paper, most of the time it's based on the process even if they don't want you to explain the process they will tell you that if this is not done what will happen and that's how most people end up failing life sciences because of that so you're supposed to know each and every process by heart you're supposed to know it by heart i'm not saying cram know it by heart understand it if possible dream of it <laughs> i'm just joking guys but yeah when you are dealing with processes, use a flow chart 
so that you can understand the process better. Tip number four, practice labeling those diagrams without seeing it. I'm not saying you should cram. I'm saying that you should know those diagrams without being able to see it, like see the name. For instance, know that this is a sperm duct. Know that this is a sugar. Know that this is phosphate. Know that this is what, what, and what, what, and what, what, and what, what. You're supposed to know that. And while doing that, test yourself sometimes. Close that textbook. If you can, first draw the diagram by yourself, right? Close that textbook and then start labeling it without seeing it. Start labeling and checking if you really understand what is going on. By doing that, you'll be able to understand and know how to label without seeing it. Tip number five, create your own notes. When studying on the textbook, right? When studying on the textbook, right? Create your own notes, notes that you will understand. But while creating those notes, do not forget the keywords. Tip number six, when studying, learn how to tabulate the differences between what? DNA and RNA. Know how to tabulate the differences between meiosis and mitosis. Those are just examples, but you should know the differences between the processes as well because you never know. Life sciences is so unpredictable. Sometimes they'll take out things that you didn't expect them to take out or they'll take out what you expected them to take out but in a different way. So you're supposed to know everything and know the differences between the processes or both RNA and DNA. And you're supposed to know the similarities between DNA and RNA. Know the differences, know the similarities, as I believe. Tip number seven. I like this tip. You will never understand life sciences if you do not know the functions of each and everything that is in the textbook. Know the function. Know what an epididymis is and know what its function is. <laughs> you guys didn't hear me. You are supposed to know the functions of the diagrams in the textbook. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere without knowing those functions. Did you hear me? You are not going anywhere. Make sure. Make sure. That is why most people don't end up getting distinctions when it comes to life sciences because they forget about the functions. You tell yourself that, nah, I can see what's going on. I'll just make things up in the exam room and lie and say the function of this is this. You are killing yourself academically by doing that. You just don't know. Marek is slow death, what you are doing. It's slow poison, it will kill you, literally. And when it comes to knowing the functions, make sure that you do not cram, make sure that you understand, because life sciences, yeah, tea. they'll ask you questions in a tricky way. Meanwhile, you understand what the function is, but you just don't know how to answer it because you cram. Uska cram, uska cram. Don't cram, you'll fail. Cram, pass and forget doesn't work like that go life sciences. Ask us. We've been there. We are tempted. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't be like us, okay? We are talking from experience and you don't want to experience that. Because I'm wishing you the best. Why do you want to experience what I also experienced at first? Until I discovered how to work things out. So please, okay? Please. Tip number eight. You are supposed to know when it comes to complex diagrams, like diagrams that are simple and diagrams that are actually complicated. Just like the menstruation cycle or the menstruation diagram. I won't lie. At some point, I also didn't understand it. I really didn't. Like, it took me time to actually understand what was going on. All thanks to Craig. 
it took me time to understand what was going on so when it comes to that diagram you're supposed to break it down break down that diagram so that you can understand and take it one day at a time when it comes to knowing that diagram because you are not cramming right you are trying to understand hey that diagram will make you cry it will make you cry also that topic yeah it has something to do with plants gravity and whatnot if you guys haven't done it uh when they teach that topic make sure that you're very attentive and when answering questions based on that topic make sure that you understand the question because they can trick you they will trick you so hard so please so when it comes to life sciences know the dates where each and every event will occur for instance i think ovulation occurs on the 14th day or day 14 i think ovulation occurs on day 14 i said i think okay i don't remember but i think i remember but i don't remember but i'm not sure i can you're the one that is doing life sciences now so you're supposed to know which day it actually is number nine please test your knowledge create a template or create a test based on your notes your notes the ones that i was talking about at the beginning of the video when i said you should make your own effective notes those notes create a test based on that and test yourself make sure you understand when studying life sciences right do not move from one topic to another without understanding what the other one is talking about hey you'll get lost you will be drowning yourself academically you will be killing yourself and that is not what we want which is why i'm actually having this one-on-one -on -one session with you okay so yeah make sure that you create a test for yourself to test your knowledge and then when you're done you're supposed to mark your your answers make sure that everything is right when it's wrong go back to that topic again until you get it right go back to that topic again until you get it right go back to that topic until you get it right i don't know how many times i said that but please tip number 10 make sure tip number 10 make sure you do all the exercises that are in your textbook make sure you do all the exercises that are in the grade 12 life sciences app when it comes to this tip like i said please don't mix topics when studying don't study dna the code of life now and then afterwards which topic human endocrine system and then you decide to go to human reproduction you study this you study that you, like you're multitasking at the same time take it one topic at a time why are you rushing take it one topic at a time the main aim is to understand understand what you're doing why are you rushing don't you know that speed kills exactly so now i'm going to dwell on when it comes to section a when answering right they will ask you is it a only b only or none you will write a you don't even write a only you will write a you will write a meanwhile the question says write a only b only both i don't know if it's both or a and b i don't i don't remember but you will write a why are you writing a meanwhile they said write a only or none you are supposed to write what is required of you you can write a only to find out that the answer is a only and they will still give you wrong because you forgot that only don't forget that only some teachers are very strict they are strict you know why because they told you about it in class but you decided to ignore it another tip i would advise you is that know the terminology know the terminology when it comes to life sciences that grade 12 life sciences app will help you so much it will help you so much use that app it is based on previous question papers download it please and then 
like i said use that app it is based on what past question papers i was about to say you should use question papers to study but that app already is question papers so now i'm going to give you the names of the apps that you're supposed to use when it comes to life sciences like i said the grade 12 app and mindset i don't know if you guys know mindset but it also plays on tv for you guys who have dstv explorer you can record if you don't have dstv explorer it means that you have to stay up all night and watch what they are busy teaching if you feel like you're too slow for that download the app instead the mindset app and when it comes to studying life sciences when you're busy studying life sciences right i would advise you not to use the three in one textbook because it has a lot of information some information is varsity level information and majority of the things won't even come out in the exam so just stick to what is required of you even if you feel like you're clever you're very smart you can grasp everything stop studying useless things man don't waste your time on useless things you have other subjects to study as well and i wanted to tell you that you can use this book understanding life sciences i don't know if you can see but yo i'm ruining things this book it helped me a lot it's very helpful i don't have the pdf i was gonna say that if you're studying life sciences and you get stuck just hit me up on instagram and i'll give you um the pdf but i don't have it anymore so it literally explains everything that you have to know and another book that you can use is mind the gap mind the gap key boss mind the gap key last number if you know mind the gap you're getting that distinction if you know mind the gap you are getting that distinction for life sciences if you know mind the gap last understanding life sciences you're gone so i hope this video was useful please go and make me proud please change those marks please go get that a go life sciences after i spent my time talking to you and giving you tips and you still don't want to use my tips Please don't disappoint me. Without that, I am done. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? If I helped you, please don't forget to subscribe. Please.